In the previous video, I've introduced the DIY mode for basic R3, RFR3 and Mini. Now, one more Sonoff product supports the DIY mode as well. It is dimmer product. Let's figure it out. Firstly, power on the device. It will start with quick pairing mode. The light blinks like breathing. The quick pairing mode is used for the pairing in the Link application. For DIY mode, we need to switch the device into compatible pairing mode. With long pressing the pairing button on RM433 remote controller. The device can be switched into compatible pairing mode, and the light blinks in this way. As the same we did in previous video to introduce new version of DIY mode, connecting the access point of the device, you are able to configure the Wi-Fi setting for the device directly. The device will connect to your existing Wi-Fi network. Here, the device has already been in DIY mode and connected to the Wi-Fi network successfully. Let's check it out the API capabilities of Dimmer. I used the Postman application to demonstrate the API requests. Here I already input most of API requests according to the developer page from Sonnoff website. Now turn the light on by the request of on and off. The light is turned on without error. To dim the brightness of the light, we can use the Dimmerable API. For this API, I can switch the device on and set the brightness of the light at the same time. Please pay attention, the switch field must be set as on. Let's try to adjust the brightness to 100 and dim the light brightness to 1. The range of the brightness also can be set via the field of brightness minimum and maximum. As I mentioned before, if I set the switch field with off, it will pop up a 400 error code. So turn the light off by the dimmerable request is not allowed. In the next, I will show you the case of turning the light on with a specific brightness. First, turn the light off. Then use the dimmerable request. As you see, the switch field is on. Change the brightness to 50. The light behaves both actions. To get the device status and information, just send the info request to the device. It lists out all the critical information. As you can see, the dimmer is on, brightness is set to 50 and other parameters is listed. Same as single channel DIY plug API request, we can get the network signal strength of the device. The rest of API requests you can find it out from the developer page. At last, I will use the RM433 remote controller to adjust the light brightness and check whether the device information will be synchronized. There are four buttons for different brightness level, now I dim the light to minimum brightness. Check the device information to see if the brightness field is updated. Yes, the brightness is updated to 1. When adjust the brightness to 60 by remote controller, and check the info request again, brightness becomes 60. Thanks for your watching. If you want to know more about Dimmer API protocol, please visit developer page on Sonloff website.